Hello YouTube, what's up? It's Mark Hewand again. Sorry that I'm a bit off. I'm a bit ill at the moment. <coughs> anyway, we are playing Assassin's Creed Unity. And I decided to choose not... I'm not going to just pay into that pressure and go to Let's Play with GTA 5 and... Um, Call of Duty. I want to... I'm going to do... Not only Call of Duty videos, a bit of Destiny videos with my friends, but I'm going to try and do a reviewing channel. Like, well, my idol is no cube, so I'm not going to be that funny because I'm new and I'm sound like I'm two. <laughs> and I just really want to, you know, like, optimize the game with my opinion, the opinion, 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 opinions. I don't want to say in, like, me saying this is a beautiful game, which I do think it's a very beautiful game. And people saying it's not. This is my opinion. I'm not a professional viewer. I'm just a boy who likes playing games. I'm going to give my opinion. Anyway, let's get down into it. Well, first of all, yes, a beautiful game. The just, I think, the far detail into it is quite nice. Kind of ruined it from other details not quite loading in. Also, God, I'm so tired and ill because it's been like five hours to set up this microphone because I was a retard and turn it on the settings. Anyway, back to the game. I do like, well, one thing I never actually liked about the game is this because I never believed you could actually survive it, so I could be wrong. But now that it's the game is just honestly beautiful. I'm in the hardest area and I've just managed to get to Assassin. And I think first of all, I'm just going to start with the Catholic customization which I'll get on just a few missions in. So you get to you customize your character, you get your skills, you can do your melees and thing. You get your gear load out, so you get your equipment, so like change all these colours and different things. And you have your like, different colours and you know, the purple and the, the blacks. And yeah, and then you get your whip equipment, which is one handed swords, long yeah, I can guess that is. Heavy pistols. That's the sexy one. Rifles. And the guillotine guns, which I do quite like myself. These are booth and cocktails. I don't quite believe in. I don't really think they should be. But if you're interested in that, you have a look at that. And the first thing, this is the point you actually play together properly. So you can think about your games. So, for myself jumping off, I'm going to do a loop of face into this ball. And get on with some of the gameplay. Now, the gameplay is quite smooth, very smooth, in fact. It can be a bit hard sometimes, depending if you're fighting a level how it's a higher character. Or you're being ganged. Oh, he's a perfect thing as well. Yeah, I'm still attacking from him. Never finish it for you. And so you get crowd events like this, and you've got to keep a number of certain things with it. I can wait you 50, I've got 2,500. Which I've been getting since I've been waiting 30. But. To keep them there, I know the randomly pop up, you complete them, you'll get a. Like, so you, you just get up to 30, you'll get a bit of a reward. It's pretty good. It's you know, pretty bad as well. Now, on the top left corner is your health, which is the little bars. And what level are you? The diamonds at the top. So, the assassin sort of ranks doesn't really matter unless you really care about the stuff. Diamonds is, well, if I can get into a fight with someone, it will show their different strength. Or diamonds, so if I get into a fight with these guys, there you go. These are four diamonds, so they're actually almost equally matched. But I'm not sure. So if it's a bit loud, I'm not sure. Right. So yes, yeah, that's the fighting, the the levels and things. You've got your basic hold down L1, in fact, and then R2 to hold down and aim and then let go to fire. Circle to cancel. Hold on R2 to put down your smoke bomb, flashbang, cherry bomb, which is a cherry bomb is like a distraction grenade, flashbang is flashbang, 
Smoke bomb is a smoke bomb. And poison gas over there is well, it kills people for stealthily. Now, I'm working with everyone in the neighbourhood. Now, here's a perfect sort of thing for you can get, can get yourself in straight a gang. So, you just push up if you've got some in stock or you've bought some recently. And you heal yourself with the medicine. Medicine is the cheapest I can even buy in the shop, but I believe. Don't quote me on that. And one thing here, these shoot you so often, they'll make me help. They're quite annoying sometimes. You also do have your own little friend ability that costs quite a lot of skill points, so you've got to do quite a few missions to do that. And when you oh, so guys, when you get when their bar goes yellow, so it's like a circle, so it's a And stab him. Now if you do with this guy, press hold on X and you'll shove him. Do it again. But once you like that. Do it again and then again. You'll fall on the ground and square your skin. I know, I'm gonna kill the sniper because he's pissing me off. There you are! Anyway. Yeah, take a little So yeah, you can click R L1 with a quick shot. This all perfectly lined up without a total of accident. I completely didn't set this up. So this is a little mini game to unlock the chests. And I'm terrible at. But you do have to have your skill points up to buy one, two and three. Three being the hardest, two being medium and one being easy. So that is good and bad, yeah. You get a bit of money from that. I said poo booby noise. Okay. Um it's all these sods that came to investigate his friends. And it is friends. Who just died. Anyway, what else do you <coughs> talk about? Well parkouring, there you go. Sometimes you can really just be so annoying you want to just smash a TV. Because he's like you're running into something, he just if you in the out, if you're inside the building and you're trying to run away from people, a guard because they have outnumbered you or you need to chase them on and do this, you'll this guy obviously be cause he doesn't do it and I'm trying to show you but if a guy can, there you go, you can just run at walls for some reason and you don't really want it to so it can be a bit annoying sometimes apart from that, pretty smooth, pretty fluid get up there fast, out of the way, done some of the things are unbelievably good, <laughs> if you catch my drift there. But then it's a technically game simulation, you've got to deal with it, those kind of things. <coughs> so each different <coughs> weapon has a finisher. It's cool, quite some fun ones. Heavy ones can have some fun ones, like code lining them, which looks a bit painful actually. Um, I can't think of what else. Uh, like most of the games is fast lifts, run into them, and you'll get a lift. Yeah, here's a chase. There can be some guards guarding a chest inside a building. <coughs> so to <coughs> gain, access to, gain access to some certain buildings, you can have to pick up the doors. It's fun and annoying. Depending how you're feeling. If the game's lagging, it can be very annoying. If it's not, it can be quite fun. <laughs> Story Mission has got some turns. <coughs> Overall, it's quite a good map out. I think the last mission seemed a bit rushed, but I'm not going to give any spoilers. Might at the end. This is how you just... I'm just trying to get the chest again. Oh. So yeah, like you showed there, the game can be a bit glitchy, like the body is like having a spaz out. <coughs> or if you just get shot and pinged into a wall. Anyway, to wrap this up, I think 
I recommend buy this game, it's a brilliant, even completely better with friends. Co-op missions are really good, the heists are even amazing. Um, story is good, but I only really played it to level up. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't anything else to do either. Now, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to leave the video because that's going to be spoilers. Five seconds. Zero seconds. Okay, so the last mission, basically, there's a unique girl called Elsa throughout the game, and she dies to protect you from the sword of Eden, which is the most powerful sword in existence. Doing it, she breaks the sword, but also kills the guy and herself. <laughs> you can then take the sword and your master assassin robe shot in outfits and equipment. Yeah, we check out those. You get a bit mini games like murder mysteries and you gotta like do well and if other games got to do Falcon got like a not remember Eagle Vision. You see there's like yellow lines in the wall. Picture all up and I'll get a nice outfit of Altair, I think was him. <laughs> But apart from that, really good game, can get, I haven't quite found it boring yet though. Um, yeah, there's a big mud in there though, that's the problem. Um, like, every other game is different characters, and, well, yeah. Um, for the Dead Kings, which is the DLC, you basically, well, I've always, Napoleon, you meet in this, in the main story mission, which is a bad guy, you meet a boy who he tries to kill. And then, like, you steal a key, you get the head of St. Deus, which is like a OP, a mystical icon. You get kicked out of the assassins, apparently just randomly drawn back in after some hallucinating. And then, yeah, you give them the, like, the power hat, and there's some good things. So that was my first uh, game review. Well, actually second, because of the ship. But first, probably okay game review. I really hope you like, drop any comments, like, subscribe. Comment how you think I could tweak, edit, or help the video. And, well, yeah, enjoy. Bye.